Hello everyone, this is Deeksha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be sharing some of my experience in making my granny square poncho. I hope this video will help you in clearing up all the doubts before starting your granny square poncho. Today, we'll be discussing everything that you will need to start this project, right from the amount of yarn you need, the number of squares that you have to make, and the arrangement of those squares. Everything, everything, everything that you need to know to do this project. The reason why I wanted to share these tips with you is when I started this project, I had lots and lots of conditions going on in my mind. Starting from how much amount of yarn I must buy, or how many squares I have to make, or how to arrange them. For instance, I didn't know how much amount of yarn to buy, so I purchased 900 grams of yarn, and it turns out it only took me 500 grams of yarn at the end to complete the entire poncho. So I hope at the end of this video, uh, all of the doubts and confusions regarding making um, granny square poncho will be sorted out. So these are the yarns that I've used for my project. I totally bought three box. Each box uh, has 300 grams of yarn. Each yarn ball weighs around 150 grams. So blue, I bought blue um, for 300 grams and uh, purple 300 grams. Um, orange 150 and brown 150. And above this yarn, uh, its uh, its gauge is very thin, as you can see, and it's cotton. So um, I decided to buy cotton yarn because um, I wanted my poncho to be very light and comfortable, even during the summer, uh, because I live in a tropical country and um, uh, the winters they don't really last long. So I wanted to use my poncho throughout the year. This yarn is available in Amazon, Amazon and it's, it's branded Amok. All right, now let's look at the arrangement of the squares. So the arrangement you're seeing now is the final arrangement of all the 216 squares. So let's look at the first round, how it's arranged. For the first round, you require a minimum of 8 squares or 16 squares. Um, if you want a close neck, you can start from 8 squares. I've decided to have 16 squares so that I can have a broad neck. So I've joined 16 squares over here in, in this manner. So, and the next round has 24 squares. So the pattern goes like this. So the first, for the first round, it's 16 squares. For the second round, it took 24 squares. And for the third round, it took uh, 32 squares. For the fourth, fourth round, uh, 40 squares. Fifth round, 48. And sixth round, 56. So it proceeds in a multiple of eight. After joining all your 216 squares, you can work on the neckline. Um, I did a round of uh, slip stitch first and then a round of uh, single crochet in order to finish my neckline. And also to uh, make the sides look complete, I did a round of slip stitch first and then two rounds of single crochet. And as a final touch, I added these things. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Um, it, uh, it makes my poncho look fancy. If you guys have uh, extra wool left over, extra yarn left over, you can try adding these. It really makes the poncho look fancy. 